Welcome to Las Vegas, and thanks for checking out Cars, Shops, and Collections. If you haven't subscribed, right below, hit that subscribe button. Now, it's kind of a chilly morning in Las Vegas, which makes it the perfect day to go see a 1969 Ford Mustang Mach 1 numbers matching car. So I met uh, Brian's the owner, and I saw his Mustang on a Las Vegas Mustang Facebook page. He's selling it, so I reached out to him and said, dude, can we come film your Mustang before you sell it? And he's like, absolutely. And it turns out we got some mutual friends. What I love about car people is you get this a lot. He goes to me, hey, by the way, I've got two others if you're interested. I'm like, absolutely. So he's got a 1967 Pontiac Firebird that we're gonna see, and a third vehicle that will leave as a surprise. This is it, this is the address. There's Brian. Oh! <laughs> Brian! How you doing? Hey, buddy, what's up, man? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Thanks how are you? Great. Absolutely. Here it is, the 1967 Pontiac Firebird. We'll break this down. That is beautiful. And Lance, turn to your left. 1969 Mustang Mach 1. This is a badass car. That's a badass car. Holy cow! You ready for this? The sound? Wow. Hi, I'm Brian Sword. I'm a car enthusiast uh, from Chicago, but I'm here in Vegas. Well, Brian, thanks again for, for sharing your, your cars with us. How did you get your hands on this 69 Mustang? So, uh, Mika Auto Auction was here in Vegas in uh, October. Uh -huh. And uh, I had no intentions. Walked by the car and go, wow, this is a gorgeous green car. Yeah. But it's called Silver Jade. Yeah, that's a debate we're, ha we're having because the color is Silver Jade. And I'm looking at the car because the pictures you had online, I'm like, that is green. Silver Jade is a shading of green. Right. I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's the official color. And this Looks is green to me. Green to me as well. Numbers matching, but you, do you go to Meekum? Is your intentions to pick up a car like this, or you're just hanging out at Meekum? I was just hanging out, and uh, I seen the car, walked by it quite a few times, yeah. and then uh, I ended up meeting uh, a gentleman from, uh, I think it was from Washington, he owns seven McDonald's. Okay. And uh, he goes to me, this is a great car to buy. Mm -hmm. And he knew, really, because I don't know anything about a Ford Mustang, yeah. to be honest with you, because I had no intentions. So he guided me along, and then when I was up there, I was just bidding away. You're going to town. I love it. I was it. just going to town and had no idea I was coming home with a 69 Ford Mustang. Oh, what a what, uh, Never what thought a I would ever own one. Uh, are you, you're happy you own one, right? I love this car. Let's talk about the face of it, because it was such a change from 68 into 69, because you now have 68, you know, Ford Mustang people know the pony was here in the center. 69, it moves over to the side. You have more room now for the four headlights, the hood pins. And of course, it's the Mach 1, the silver jade color, but then you have the black hood on top. And when you see it, you know, uh, David Spade, the comedian actor, had one of these, and he sold his at Barrett Jackson a couple years ago. But in, in an interview, I think it's true, he said, when you have one of these sitting in your driveway, your cool factor just goes up. And it's a 69. Yeah. 69 is the best cool factor of any Mustang. It really is. It, it truly really is. is. Can I open it? Open it. All right. Ooh, that is smooth inside, Lance. Let's get a shot of the inside. The Mach 1, you've got the wood grain interior. You're selling this though, Brian. Why are you selling it? Oh, uh, I just have a lot of cars, too many. Yeah? Yes. I, yeah, see the, the... I really don't want to sell it. No, I wouldn't want to sell it either. No. But I put everything up for sale to make room for something else that I... Because I'm an impulse buyer. Uh huh. I can tell. You go to Meekum just to hang out and you buy a 69 Ford Mustang. Yes. So, this is a numbers matching car. How much of the interior is the interior all original? All original interior. Floor mats are original? Yes. The 69 too. I love this. The seatbelt holder right here in the center. AM radio. 
AM radio. Dials, gauges, everything looks really nice. Everything works smooth. Right here too. That's how fresh it is. Fresh off the Mecham floor from a couple months ago. So 62,000 original miles. Yes, I bought it with 61,000 and I already put 1,000 miles on in a couple months. Because, I drive it. Because it's meant to be driven. Driven, You're absolutely. You're supposed to drive it. I put out right in front of Sunnyside Up and the comments I get from all my customers is amazing. Yeah, I'm sure you do. The clock, does the clock work? The clock doesn't work. Ah, uh, the clock, I, but it's so cool that clock sitting right there. I'm so gonna, cool. I'm sure I'm gonna figure out how to get it going. And then the Mach 1 badge right here, that's awesome. This is great. I mean, look at the, the, the roof up here. It's in great condition. There's no flaws to it. There's no cracks on the dash as well. The and I believe is this is a Canadian car. It came from Canada. Did it really? Yes. Yeah, this is great inside. The engine's gorgeous. The hood pins too. Are, I mean, that's a cool factor on yes. any car. Oh! That is clean. A little dusty. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Now when you get this at Mecham, you buy it, you immediately drive it home the next day. How's that process work for you? Uh, you drive it home that night? It's the same night. Same night. Yeah, I just paid for it and just hopped you in the car. You walk up, you pay for it, and you drive home. I drive home. Nineteen sixty-seven Pontiac Firebird, Generation One, Year One. Yes. Where do you get this car? I bought it from New York. Are you are you searching for these? Did you wake up one morning and said, "I need a Pontiac Firebird in my garage"? Yeah, I see it for sale, and here I go. And then Paul Spire. It's in great condition. Tell me more about it. Is it numbers matching? So Tell it's a number original. matching four hundred three speed. Mm -hmm. It's a rare one because it has headrest in here. Ah, okay. So that was a rare option. It's a rare option in '67. Nobody had a headrest. Convertible too. Convertible which is tops. Great. Oh, this, I, I love the Gen One Firebirds. Amazing car. Beautiful. Runs great. Is it original paint? Original? No. This okay. car's been repainted. But original color though. Original color. I mean, the lines on it are fantastic. They did a great job. Whoever did the work. The car was all apart. I, I have pictures uh -huh. when it was done, uh, when it was being painted. How many cars do you have? Guess it around 24 maybe. I, 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 I love it when someone has to say, how many cars do you have? I got one. When you say, I'm guessing around 24, that's a, that's a, that's a great position to be in. Yeah, I have some at my son's house and I have some in Chicago. And I, the tag breakfast because your son owns a breakfast joint here yes, in Las Vegas. Yes, my son owns Sunnyside Up. Hey, were you on The Price is Right? Yes. <laughs> What'd you win on The Price is Right? Uh, cameras. Uh, Oh my God! Let's, let's see the uh, a four wheeler, a jet ski. Did you really? Yeah. You won the showcase showdown. Uh, the showcase showdown, I did not win. Oh, okay. And how I did not win it, I got to say this: this wasn't fair. She bid it three different times. Like she bid twenty-two thousand, uh -huh. then she went twenty-four thousand, then she went to twenty-eight. Uh -huh. I would have won hands down. And you know, not that I was complaining, yeah. I was happy, yeah. but she went three times. What the heck? Yeah, because usually you give one big, because yeah. I've been watching a show since I was a little boy of course, with my yeah. father, you know. Well, uh, you won the uh, Price is Right of Life, because this is a fantastic, fantastic car. Three speed, right? Three speed. So then everything inside we're looking at is original. All original interior. Original radio. Original radio, interior. Gauges, dissipate, radio. Everything. Everything inside is original. Again, too, look at the dash, Lance, because 1967, the dash is impeccable. Tack on the hood on a car is something really cool to see. Any uh, Pontiac I buy has to have a tack on the hood. Is it, is it working? Beautiful. It works? Yeah, it works. Mm, that's great. Can we see under the hood of the car? Yes, you can. Original engine, matching number car. Whoa. This is, I mean, wickedly clean. Really clean. And the chrome too, so much chrome down front. It looks awesome. Something special about the Generation 1 Firebird. I'm more of a Pontiac guy. Mm -hmm. I have more Pontiacs than, so that's my first Ford. Uh -huh. I'm an older car. Or, well, maybe when I was in high school, I had a 47 Ford I bought. <laughs> So in high school, I was doing this in high school. Just it started so you know very that. young. It started very young. My first car was a Chevy Vega. I paid $150 for uh -huh. it. And I went to Earl Shive 
for twenty nine ninety five. Yeah, and I sold it for nine hundred and fifty. Did bucks. you really? Uh huh. But I mean, this is the cool collection to have, the 69 Mustang Mach 1, and then the Generation 1 Firebird. To have these in your garage, it's, it's a really cool, really cool collection you have. And then you have a, you have a third vehicle as well, yes. that we're gonna show today. And this is really cool. We got a 1994 Chevy Blazer behind us. And this car is absolutely, one owner car from Alabama, brand new. I had to have it. Because when I, uh, Snow plowed my lots back out in Chicago back in the day. I always had a two door blazer. Oh, where did you get this? I bought it from Meekum. This year? This year in October again. Another car that's in fantastic condition. Can Thank we see you. the inside of it? Oh, absolutely. Come on, let's. I'll go around the other side. Fifty-eight thousand miles on this. Interior is so clean. Seats are, are soft. Again, dash is perfect. I love this 1994 cassette CD player somewhere. Probably not. Uh, CD? Uh, no, it's uh, eight, uh, a cassette? Uh, cassette player. Yeah, cassette player. In a really good condition. Isn't this car not amazing? Yeah, I, I love it's, the it's like leather brand steering wheel. Yeah, I feel like I'm back in high school. So for our ride along, we decided to go in the Firebird. Power top, still works. Convertible. The fact that this is still, it's still in working condition, this is really cool. Amazing, yeah. isn't it? Takes a little bit. Yeah, but for 1967, that's pretty fast. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you think of it, sure. Here's a sign too. You can tell Brian is from Chicago. Top down. Oh it's, no problem. It's winter in Las Vegas. Top down. He's got a T-shirt on. I'm freezing. All right. I would have had my shirts on, but I didn't want to scare you. I want to be professional. I want to be professional. All right, let's let's go. Should I lay a patch. You want to lay a patch? You want to lay a patch? Okay, here you go. You know what that means, Lance? Well, it runs, four, it runs and, great. And, and this has got a 400 engine, so it's made to lay a path. Uh, and by the way, all your neighbors are car people. Uh, Every one of your neighbors has your guy. Your next door neighbor's working on a Mustang. The guy across the street has cars. It, it's, it's like a, it's it's a, a great neighborhood. neighborhood. Yeah. Yes. How does it handle when you're driving it? Oh, phenomenal. Yeah. Great you, car. You can feel, you can feel it's, it's, it's a smooth ride. It runs great. It really does run great. Yeah, now that the, the top is down, you can see better with the interior, how great condition it is. The AM radio? Yes, it works. It works? But there's nothing on AM, there's no more music. Yeah, it's 2023, so AM radios are not really a thing anymore. <laughs> uh, That's coming from a guy that works at an FM station, yeah. <laughs> and his wife works at Sirius XM. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, we're a media family. What's your plan with this? Keep it? Sell it? Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. They're all for sale. All for sale. When you sell, do you go through the auctions or just online? No, you know, I go online to try to sell it, but I, I have to believe after the Meekum uh, auto auction in Kissimmee that uh, I'm going to have to go through an auction to get my most money for Yeah. Because well, people don't understand, uh, like on Facebook, you know. The value the and everything. The value yeah. and appreciation mm -hmm. of a car like this. All right, so we did three cars and uh, we kind of worked up an appetite. I got a great breakfast place to go to. Your son's joint, right? My son's joint, sunny side up. Sunny side up. So we're gonna you land you down for breakfast? Hell yeah. Free okay. breakfast? Free breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna go, it's, uh, it's on Grand Canyon uh, in uh, Flamingo. 215 in Flamingo, we're going to breakfast, come on. We've arrived at sunny side up. Brian, uh, this looks spectacular. What do you have? What uh, is it? What are you going on? The Salmon Benedict. Ooh. And I just have uh, this regular. What's this? Right. Stuff French toast, what we're famous for. Hold on, let's try this one. By the way, um, this is very, and I, I love the show and I love the guy, Dennis Collins, Coffee Walk. They always end their episodes eating. I feel like we're, we're, we're in an episode of Coffee Walk right now. It's fantastic. Let's try this. Sure, give me one second.
If you want your car, shop, or collection featured on the show, then shoot us an email at carsshopsandcollections at gmail.com. That's carsshopsandcollections at gmail.com. And thanks for watching, and be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of Cars, Shops, and Collections.